Hello and welcome to the Wheel of Life activity, also known as the Wellness Wheel activity. I'm so glad you're here because you are taking steps to become closer to your very best, most favorite version of you. You may be looking at the Wellness Wheel in conjunction with your next 90 planner, and you may be looking at the Wellness Wheel um, as a separate piece of paper. Either way, you're going to go through to the wellness wheel and have its list. Your sheet will match mine. And the first thing you're going to do is look at the wheel and read the categories on the wheel. You'll notice that there are eight different categories with some words used to describe each of them. Just quickly turn each of those eight categories into something that you relate to. So whatever the words say, you can keep them as they are or turn them into words that are more familiar to you. If you're doing with this, doing this with a non-reader, go ahead and talk through what may, might make sense in order to have those categories be really relatable to the person who is um, doing the wheel of what uh, wheel of life activity. Next, decide whether you want to replace any of the language with different language. Say if you are a student, then you probably wouldn't have a professional category, but more a school category, a personal growth category. And then you may also decide that you want certain categories to be separate from one another, like a um, family and friends. Maybe you would choose to separate those, or maybe you're going to take mental and physical health and divide those into two separate categories. Either way, this is a start, your first time doing the wellness wheel. And over time, you'll get a feel for what really works for you in evaluating um, your life in this quick snapshot. So after you've decided um, the names for the categories and exactly which categories you want to be on your wheel, you're going to think about and you can write down or jot down what would make this a 10 for you? So what is a complete level 10 in terms of your satisfaction, you at your very best in each of the categories? And now the second part, you're going to take each section of the wheel and compare how you feel right now at this particular point in your life to that rating of a 10. And a one is the farthest possible you could be from a 10 all the way up to 10 out of 10 is completely satisfied. So take the time now to go through your wheel, evaluating what is a 10, and then where am I right now in comparison to that 10? By the time you're done, you'll be able to place dots on the circles of the wheel and then connect those dots to make some sort of a shape. Um, closer we get to a circle, the more balanced we can say that your life is. Um, and then the idea of a wheel is that a rounded wheel rolls better. <laughs> and you know what, if your wheel isn't perfectly round, no problem at all. This gives you an idea of what is going well for you, where you're satisfied in your life, and where you might want to make a change. Um, and then looking at your wheel, here are some questions that you can use to take the exercise further. Um, how do you feel as you, as you look at your life? How do you feel about your wheel? Does it reflect the time that you're spending in each area? Are there areas where you would like to spend more or less time? And um, which of the categories would you most like to improve? Maybe you're choosing um, the category that you feel would make the biggest difference in your life right now if you made some changes. Um, the final step is one goal, one focus area for say the next four weeks that you think would make a really big difference in your life. And then what would make that number move just one number higher? So if you're at a four, it would move to a five. 
five to six and so on, take some time to already write down what you're doing and then some simple things, some simple ideas you can take to move that number one. The last step I'll, um, I'll tell you about, and this is optional, is to write down your uh, physical, your mental, and your spiritual health habits. These are things that you're already doing. And if there's anything you notice that you'd like to increase, say maybe it's as simple as adding sleep, if that's not a goal that you have thought about doing yet in your Wheel of Life activity, you can add that. Again, this is optional for you um, with the mental, physical, and spiritual health, but it does help you build awareness of how physical, mental, and spiritual health add to the quality of your life. Um, last but not least, don't forget to make sure you have a concrete way to measure your success so that you know you are indeed moving that number higher. And I look forward to hearing about the growth that you make over the next four weeks. Good luck.